what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel first and foremost if you haven't already hit the subscribe button hit the post notification bell so you'll know whenever i push out any new content um the falcons um two weeks ago we're sitting atop the nfc south after a big win against the tampa bay buccaneers since then we have lost two straight games both in embarrassing and Absolutely mind-boggling fashion, especially last week versus Minnesota. Um, and now here we are, the first time this season, sitting under 500 at 4-5 and five, um, as we prepare to go on a road trip to the west, to the desert, to take on the 1-8 Arizona Cardinals. An Arizona Cardinals team, you could argue, maybe – as the worst roster in all of football. Um, so even with that, this is not go this is not a guaranteed win by any scale of the metrics, especially after how the last two weeks have gone. Um, but it is a very big game for the Falcons, final game before you head into the week eleven bye. Um it's a game you got to come out and the, let's put it plain and simple. You got to win, but how is that going to happen? Well, let's look into it starting right now. Um, so we talked about it with the Falcons. Four and five have lost their last two games, both in embarrassing fashion. They are now in second place in the NFC South. So a half game ahead the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Carolina lost last night, so they are one and eight now. Um, that graphic says one and seven to one and eight. Now, after losing to Chicago Bears, they're not really much of a concern anyways in the division. All they're concerned about is uh going and marching on Bank of America Stadium, which who knows that might be where we are in a week. Who knows, man? Who knows? Um, but Set a half game ahead of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and a game behind the New Orleans Saints. We still face the Saints twice. They're our first game coming out by. Um, face them again week 18. And we have a 2-0 division record. So it, we're not completely out of it yet when you look at it in that aspect. But as I say, you've lost two straight. You have to win on Sunday. Looking at this Arizona team, they're 1-8. and eight. Um but the thing about them, man, is they fight in every game. They fight and they stay in these games. They won versus the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys are not going to Arizona and take them seriously, and they won. Um, they've been able to stay in it really pretty much versus everyone. They were able to stay in it versus the Baltimore Ravens. Um, Cincinnati was able to pull away on them, but for the most part, you know, with the lack of talent there has been, Arizona is a team that has came out every game this season and has played their you-know-whats off. Um, so this is not an easy one for the Falcons. Um, but also, there's a certain mindset the Falcons are going into this game with that should raise a lot of questions. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. Looking at this injury report, though, um, the Falcons, there's some names on here. Um, D. Alford and Matt Collins, both ankle injuries. Um, tried to get D. Alford going on Thursday, just couldn't. Matt Collins has not practiced all week. They're both out. David Onyemata, um, ankle injury, limited on Thursday and Friday. Um, so. He's questionable. You're going to try to get him going. You hope he can go. Um, Richie Grant with the neck injury. He should be able to go. DeMarco Elms. Uh, Drake London, the big name on here. Um, he is good to go on Sunday. He, you know, is back. Hopefully, he'll be back to his old self. Um, Keith Smith is back. Kyle Pitts. Um, obviously, another big name. That just showed up today. It was reported it wasn't anything football related. Um, he's actually welcoming his first child into the world. So congratulations to Kyle Pitts um, and his lovely, I don't know if they're married yet, but 
his lovely girlfriend or wife or girl, you know. Um, so congratulations to them for welcoming their first child into the world. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like for the Falcons. As far as the Cardinals go, they, they're really beat up as well. Now, James Conner could definitely be back Sunday. Um, but I mean, the biggest thing I think to take away is some of Arizona's starting offensive linemen, DJ Humphreys, Will Hernandez, they're questionable. DJ Humphreys hasn't uh, practiced all week. So Arizona's coming in this game, beat up Michael Wilson, wide receiver, limited practice all week. He's questionable. Um, there's a lot of names here for the Cardinals as well. Um, so no, the Falcons aren't going into this thing healthy, but neither is Arizona. However, I want to talk about this. I think we need to talk about this. On Wednesday, Taylor Heineke was asked something about how important is this week. Taylor Heineke, who this week is probably playing for a role to be the starting quarterback the rest of the year. And maybe that's really what more this is. But he says this is like a Super Bowl week for us. And then trying to get a good win and feel good going into the bye week. Now, yes, you got to get a good win, feel good going into the bye week. But this is like a Super Bowl week versus a 1-8 and eight football team who, granted, they are able to stay in every game. They are a tough opponent to just put down and run over, but they're one and eight. You're real, and they're they could very well be down three offense alignment. And this is like a Super Bowl week for us. This honestly, this and maybe we're all taking this out uh, out of context because part of it I can understand. You want to feel good going into the bye. You can say. Well, we feel like this is an important week for us. A Super Bowl week, this shows that this team, they're not ready to compete at the next level. And I think we've all known that, that no, this is not a team that's going to contend for a Super Bowl this year. But this shows, they don't know what a, what is a, what is a Super Bowl week. We are acting like, we're trying, we're going up against Kansas City or Philadelphia, and we only have one or two wins. And this is our biggest game all season, and we're trying to win our – get out of here. Yes, is it an important game? Absolutely, it's an important game. You have to win this game. But the biggest concern is they think this is a Super Bowl game. Are you going to get complacent if you win this game going into the bye week? And then think about it, Thanksgiving, and then come out versus Saints, coming out a bye. Sluggish, is that is that the approach you're taking? That's something that's very worrying for me. Maybe not even necessarily for this Sunday, but talking about when we come out of this bye. This is like a Super Bowl week. You're treating this that. This is an important game that you need to win, but we've been saying it. Get back to the basics. Do the basic stuff that we're going to talk about in a second. Um. So, yeah, I mean, take that how you want. They were saying this is like a Super Bowl week. Um, And the other big story is Kyler Murray, for the first time all season, for the first time since week 14 of last year, is going to be playing. Kyler Murray is the starting quarterback for Arizona on Sunday. He'll be making the season debut versus a Falcons defense that, even though this season has been impressive the last two weeks, has let down. Hey, we have to face it, has let down. Um, obviously, Murray has a lot of rust to knock off, I'm sure. So it's going to be interesting to see how he comes out and plays. This could be a good opportunity for the defense to get back in a rhythm um, and show dominance and welcome Kyler Murray back into the groove of the NFL for the first time in nearly a year. Or this could be a tune-up game for Kyler Murray to get back to vintage Kyler Murray. We could have a midget running all around the field on Sunday on us. Who knows? But we got to bounce back. 
You can't let Kyler Murray, his first game in nearly a year, come out and light you up on the ground and through the air. You're going to have to put a spy on this man. Coverage. Clark, something we didn't talk about in the injury report, D. Alford is out. That means Clark Phillips is going to get a lot of playing time on Sunday. I, I want to see how Clark Phillips does. Um, But your de the defense is going to be another important piece to this puzzle. This is going to be a pivotal point for the defense. Are you going to show dominance and bounce back? Versus a quarterback starting his first game in nearly a year and you know has to be rusty? Or are you just going to let him run all over you? And uh, is this just going to be like warm-up to him? I mean, we literally, I mean, we let a guy drive down the field on us last week um, who had been with the team for four or five days. So anything is possible. But you can't have Kyler Murray coming out First time in a year, especially after what you've done the past few weeks. If you really are a respectable defense, um, you have to come out. You have to contain Colin Murray. Now, I definitely feel like we can do that. Um, but I'm not entirely confident. I'm not going to lie. But I feel like we definitely could do that. Um, and the biggest element, I think, to this entire thing is going to be this offense which is called um, by this man. The man who is the head coach of the Atlanta Falcons, Arthur Smith, we all know him. No longer with the damn mustache. Um, I'm going to tell you all something. Arthur Smith knows the walls are caving in on him. He can feel it. And Arthur Smith is at a point where he could still potentially push the walls further from him he could separate himself from that but i'm telling you that seat's pretty damn warm right now um this offense and how they've been operating the past few weeks and a lot of people will harp on the usage of Bijan robinson i've the big debate Bijan needs to be a goal line back now i i will say this in defense of arthur smith Tyler Algier should be our goal line back because he's our physical back. Now, you're just going ahead and saying, well, every single time we're at the goal line, it's going to be Algier. No. You should have some plays at the goal line where it is Bijan. It's Bijan, and he's going to be doing damage. Um, so you don't want to run Bijan Robinson into the ground? Okay. But everyone, it's not just Bijan. Tyler Algier needs to get more carries than he's getting. I love Jonu Smith. I think he's a great piece to the puzzle to this offense. Um, he's a great element to this offense. But he should not be the main attraction every week. He shouldn't. But this is this is really just an issue in general of execution. And now some of these plays are called up. Drake London. You have to get the ball to him more. Drake has shown that he's going to go 100% on every single ball thrown to him. Kyle Pitts, you have to get the ball to him more. You have to get the ball to Bijan more. You have to get the ball to Algier more. You have to have a balanced approach, but you have to let it come organically. Um, so do I now I think Bijan should definitely get a uh, more workload on Sunday. Something that's very interesting is this is actually Bijan's homecoming. He grew up in Arizona, um, went to school there, grew up there as a kid. So he's going back home basically to play in front of all of his family and friends. Um, so I could definitely see Bijan um, them giving him the ball more on Sunday, and that results in him having a big day. Um, I feel like you have to get Drake London back involved. Listen, Heineke's the starting quarterback. We've seen from Taylor Heineke that he's honestly not all that different than Desmond Ritter. Heineke, he goes out there and he plays real Brett Favre-like. Um, but at the end of the day, that is why you have to lean on your running game because then that's going to set up the rest of your offense. 
But the biggest thing, stop making the boneheaded bullshit decisions. When you're at the one-yard line, try to just punch it in with your best player. If you feel that's Tyler Alger in that situation, which I hate breaking it to y'all, he is. Okay. If you were going to run a jet sweep with anyone, you don't need to do it with Johnny. Do it with Bijan. But the bottom line is you are losing the locker room slowly but surely. It's inevitable. This Sunday, you need to come out and you need to use common sense. You need to get the ball in the hands of your playmakers. And you need to let them do the work. Because if not, and we go into the spy four and six, it's not going to be pretty. Um, so typically, this is when we would go over our keys to victory now. Um, but that is the key to victory. Don't fuck it up. Call your game. Call the game that you succeed at, which is wearing teams down and just sprinkling in some play action, sprinkling it in here and there throughout, getting Bijan going, getting Algier going. Do not kill yourself in this game. If you are in the red zone, go and get the touchdown. Bottom line, if the defense causes a turnover and gets you down at the one-yard line, punch that bitch in. Do not kill yourself in situations where it's almost impossible to, but you find a way. But with that being all said, how do I think this game is going to go? Let me tell y'all straight up. I do not. I've been very up and down with who I'm going to pick. I'm going to go ahead and pick the Falcons. I do not feel very much confident in it, but I'm going to go ahead and pick us. I feel like... This is going to be a game that we are actually this these past few games I would at least like to think and I honestly think kind of has at least been a short term wake up call. Whether it is a long term or not is still to be seen. But I feel like we're going to come out this week. I feel like the defense will show improvement and I feel like the offense is going to do somewhere around just enough to have an all right outing to win this game. I do feel like Bijan's going to go off in Arizona, returning to Arizona, and I feel like Hayden Ellis, I wouldn't be all that shocked if he is your spy on Colin Murray Sunday. I could see him making some big plays. But with that being all said, this has to be a win. I cannot stress it enough. You have to win this game. And you really have to win that game versus New Orleans. But this is a must-win game for the sake of that locker room. But with that being all said, I'll see you guys Sunday. Um, the bye week, I got some things. in the. I'm going to be doing a couple things, getting with some different people. We'll be talking over the bye week hopefully we head in 500 um and not four and six because then we might be having some more uncomfortable talks in that case um but yeah we got to go out get this one sunday so until then i'll see you guys in the next one